The city of Flint says it's working to control the water level of the Kersley Dam after a break. This is an update ABC 12 first brought to you on Tuesday. Our Alyssa Irwin has been following the developments and joins us live. Now, Alyssa, the Kersley Reservoir's water level fell nearly three feet overnight. You know, Tiffany, that is correct, and I can say slowly but surely throughout the day that water level is increasing. The city says they were treating it as an emergency repair. They have dislodged that debris, and now they are manually using those dams to get this water back into the reservoir. Residents say they're still slightly concerned. We talked with some of them today about what had happened, you know, a few days ago as well. With all of the rain mid-Michigan saw, the water levels in the Kersley Reservoir continues to fluctuate, dropping one foot last week. When I spoke with Todd Nagy, then it filled up a bit from the rain two days ago, and Nagy thought he was in the clear. That is until he woke up this morning, and what he saw was deja vu, but some even worse. Water level is exactly at my dock, and my dock sits out there probably 34 feet. Um, so it's a complete mess out there again. Here is the scene Tuesday, and here it is today, much lower. The city said in a statement to ABC 12, water last night was released through the south lift gate to prevent flooding. Then the gate became clogged with debris and could not be lowered. It's very disheartening that you want this lake to be up and be an all sports lake so we can use it and have fun, but it's just uh, the water levels are you know, so far down right now, it's it's really, really unsafe to use this, this place out here. According to the city, they have been working to resolve the issue as the sluice gate controls the Kersley Reservoir's water level through automation from the Water Treatment Plant Operations Center as residents wait to see what repairs will happen. And we know this is an ongoing situation here at the Kersley Reservoir. I am joined by Kenneth Miller. You are the City of Flint's Department of Public Works Utilities Manager. Thanks so much for your time today. Oh, thank you. Glad to be here. You know, first off, talk to me about kind of what this process has entailed over the last 24 hours. Well, last night, uh, the staff noticed that they could not close a lift gate completely. Uh, a team was called in and the team worked until late last night uh, until it was not not safe to continue working so we remobilized this morning and opened the valve the gate fully to dislodge whatever was stuck in it and uh, it dislodged and we were able to close the problematic lift gate properly you know what what do these residents right now really need to know what do you want to let them know well we want to we want to let them know that the uh the reservoir level is rising and uh, we anticipate by 6 30 or 7 30 tonight for the for the the level to be up at its uh normal um level you know and just where do we go from here is there any way to you know we know it's a man-made lake we know it's the dams um just where do we go from here in the future well what what we at uh flint uh the city of flint are doing is we're going to bring in a consultant that is going to uh to have a dive team go in and take an assessment of the dam at the the uh sluice gate to determine its uh viability for operation all right well i want to thank you so much for your time and again we know this is an ongoing ongoing thing for many of the residents we will keep you posted appreciate all your work thank you all right we are live here right in flint i'm Melissa irwin with abc 12 news